What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick and in today's video we are going to be doing a double smoke cherry glaze spiral cut ham. This ham is already fully cooked so we just need to bring it up to a serving temperature which I'm going to choose to be at around 140 to 145 degrees. We're going to smoke this at 250 degrees using cherry pellets. So the first thing that we need to do is get our ham out of the package. But before we get it out of the package I just want to give you a little disclaimer. This video that I am making Making today I'm doing a copycat recipe of somebody else's video his name is mojo barbecue or something like that he has a cool little barbecue channel one of my friends actually sent me this recipe he did it himself said it turned out amazing so I'm gonna be trying it today I'm copying exactly what he does in his video so full disclaimer I'll leave a link down below so you can check out his video I just want to give him credit since this was his video first and whenever I do a 100% copycat video like this I'll always make sure to let you guys know where it came from I don't want to take credit for somebody else's work so with all that being said let's get into the video so I'll just go ahead and cut this and whenever I cut this out of the package you want to have down some sort of butcher paper or some sort of tray with like a lid on the side because this is going to be really juicy a bunch of like water and liquid in here so just go ahead get it all cut open get this out and this smells really good it's already hickory smoke, so we're gonna be adding cherry with it. And see, I told you guys it's really juicy, so put it onto here first, so that way I don't get juices everywhere. So there's nothing else we need to do now that this is out of the package. I'm just gonna get this onto a separate tray, because this is full of juices, and I don't want it sitting in the juice. I'm really weird about juices when it comes to meat, so I just want it off of this tray. Now we're gonna go outside, get our smoker fired up. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that today. And then after that's done, we're gonna come back in and make our glaze. Get your temp up to 250 degrees. Today I'm using Bear Mountain Cherry Pellets. I love this brand, I think they're awesome. So just go ahead and fill up your hopper. Go ahead and fill up your hopper with however many pellets you think you'll need. And then before I actually put my meat on, I just kinda like to take some aluminum foil and scrub in between all the grates, kinda knock off any little drippings that are there from the last cook. That way you have some fresh grates ready for this big beautiful ham. Okay, so now that our ham is out on the smoker, let's come back inside right away and get this glaze put together. And I'm gonna follow the measurements that he used in his video. And in his video, he does it the same way that I do it, where I just kind of say it's a quarter cup, but you just kind of dump what you think is a quarter cup, because we're not baking here. We're making a glaze. It just could just be whatever you want it to be. So the first thing that we're gonna be using today is an 18 ounce jar of these cherry preserves. And the next thing that we're adding in is about a quarter cup of molasses. And he puts in a quarter cup to start, which I'll call that. And then at the end, he adds in a little bit more. So I'll just go ahead and do that step now, and we'll just call that good. Next, we're going to be putting in about another quarter cup of sriracha, and we'll call that good. Then he adds a splash of his favorite drink. So I'm just going to go ahead and mine's cherry Coke. Any kind of cherry flavored drink, you could just go ahead and add in a splash. That looks good to me. Now at the end, he seasoned it up with his barbecue rub, but I'm going to be using Killer Hogs barbecue rub today because I don't have his. I think I need to buy his in the future. I really liked his video, so we'll just add in a nice little dusting of that. Then we're just going to go ahead and give this a light stir. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. Now that we have this glaze good and made, what we're going to do is get it right out onto the smoker. Our ham's only been on there for about three or four minutes, just enough time for me to come back in here and get this. And the difference between how he's doing it and how I typically would do it is, sorry for my kid, he's on the floor licking the ground yelling. I don't know what he's doing right now, but you'll probably hear him throughout the video. But how I normally do glazes, I usually heat them up at the end in the microwave or something like that and glaze it on for the last like 10, 15 minutes of the cook. But he actually smokes the glaze, which I think is a really cool idea. Idea. I don't know why I never thought of that. So this glaze is gonna sit under smoker the whole entire time. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out there and then we're just gonna let our ham sit for about one hour. All right, so it's officially been one hour since we first put the ham on. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is open this up. I'm gonna get the temperature of our ham and see where we're at. So as you can see, we're only at about 75 degrees. It looks like that's about where we're at throughout it all. 70 degrees, so it's going pretty slow as of right now so it's been one hour and as you saw we're only at about 75 degrees right now internal temperature so i'm gonna do 
So I'm actually gonna crank up my smoker to 300 degrees. So for the first hour, we did 250. And from this point on forward, we're gonna be doing 300 degrees. And the reason why I'm doing this is because in the initial video, he ran it at like 275, I think the whole way through and on my stupid smoker i can't do that it's 250 or 300 so so for the first hour let it get a lot of smoke at that 250 now i'm going to crank it up to 300 degrees it's going to get this it's going to get this glaze bubbling real nice let it reduce down and once it reaches 100 degrees internal temperature that's when we'll glaze but right now i'm going to stir the glaze so these cherries are starting to break down really nice now and this is starting to all kind of come together and I'm sure it's absorbing a little bit of smoke too. So this is gonna be really great when it's all said and done. Okay, so it's officially been 90 minutes now. We did 60 minutes at 250 degrees, 30 minutes at 300 degrees. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. So as you can see, we're starting to get a really nice color on our ham and I'm gonna go ahead and probe this, see what temperature we're at and see if we get to start glazing. All right, so as you guys can see, we're right here at 100. Let's start to glaze. So I'm just gonna take and pull this whole entire piece forward a little bit, just so I can glaze it a little bit easier. I'm gonna make sure that you get a glove on because this is gonna be really hot on your handle. This is a heat resistant glove. So I'm gonna come down here now and I'm just gonna keep stirring, kind of mash up some of these cherries a little bit. I'm gonna stir this up. And I'm just gonna take, and I'm just gonna start to paint this on. I don't need to go on super, super heavy because we're gonna be coming out and glazing this about every, I don't know, 10 degrees or so, however long that's gonna take. So the goal isn't to get this uh, super, super lathered. Right now, it's just to get a nice thin coat, let it caramelize, come back, add another little layer. And we're just gonna be adding layers of flavor to this bad boy throughout the whole entire cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this back our little corner all these little pieces are gonna tear off we're gonna let this keep smoking get it shut down come back out in 10 degrees so the next time we're gonna come out and glaze this ham is when it's at 110 degrees if you have a good probe stick it in there at 110 you're gonna glaze it at 120 you're gonna glaze it 130 and 140 you're gonna glaze it let it go up to 145 i think that's the right temperature to serve it at i actually don't have a good probe my probe sucks Right now I'm just using my Thermapen, which is really great for you guys I know what Thermapen is. So I'm probably just gonna let this go for about 20 minutes, come back out, check it then, and I'm hoping that 300 degrees, that it'll be up at 110. I'm not gonna be super particular and picky about this. Every 20, 15 minutes or so, I'll come out and glaze it. I'll make sure I include that in the next little shot. So I'll see you guys soon. So our first time that we came to Pro, we actually shot all the way up to 120 degrees. I missed the 110 mark. So just go ahead and glaze it up. And like I said, if it's not perfect, if you come out at 112 and glaze it and 121 and glaze it, it's not gonna ruin the ham. But the moral of the story here is to glaze frequently after you hit 100 degrees in between 145 at your serving temperature. So let's go ahead and paint this ham really nicely, glaze it on all sides. Now we're here at 130, so it's time to glaze again. I'm just gonna mash down a little bit of those cherries. Paint on this glaze. Just make sure you're putting on a nice thin coat all throughout this ham. Back out again here at 140 degrees. This is gonna be our last time glazing. Mash up some of them cherries and just start to paint on this glaze. This is the last time that you're going to glaze. You could use it all if you want to, but I decided not to because I wanted to keep applying thin coats throughout. Now we're here at 145 degrees and it's time to pull our ham off. Get it onto a tray and bring it inside to let it sit for just a few minutes. Okay, so our ham is finally done and off the smoker. We have it inside now. Before I slice into this and tell you guys how it tastes, I'm just gonna do a quick recap of what it was that we did today. So this ham came fully cooked. We smoked it at 250 degrees using cherry pellets for one hour. After that one hour, we cranked up the temperature to 300 degrees. Then we let it smoke until it hit about 100 degrees internal temperature. Then we started to glaze. And while this ham was smoking on there, we had already made our glaze and had the actual glaze heating up and smoking 
smoking in this smoker too. After it hit 100 degrees, we tried to glaze it every 10 degrees all the way up until it hit 145. Smoking these hams that are already pre-cooked are really simple, really easy, and it's a great thing to have for Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whenever. If you guys notice, the glaze on this ham is absolutely ridiculous. It's super tacky, it looks super sticky, and it looks super amazing. So I'm gonna shut up and let the ham do the talking. I'm gonna slice into this and give it a try. All right, so this ham is already pre-sliced, but this is my favorite part to cut into. I like to come and just take some of this off right here some of the side that's already pre-sliced. As you guys can see, you really start to get some of these beautiful little slices out of here. This is my favorite part right here. This just looks absolutely amazing. We could just take and cut some of these bad boys out. Okay, so you guys know I'm gonna go for this money shot. This is the top piece that's been fully glazed, fully smoked, so this tastes absolutely delicious and my baby over there thinks it's absolutely delicious too, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Wow. So that little piece of ham was actually, I'll be honest with you, I think it was better than the one that I did about a month ago. This ham turned out absolutely phenomenal. I have to give credit to the Mojo Barbecue guy. This glaze was absolutely perfect and I really liked smoking the glaze and glazing it up multiple times. I think I'll have to adopt it as a new tradition when I glaze hams and other things like this. I think it turned out really awesome. It has a deep hickory smoke because it was hickory smoked when I bought it. And then we used cherry on it and it has a nice smoke flavor to it. It's very well balanced. This cherry glaze on it though really kicks it off because like I said, it's, it's sweet, but it also has a little bit of that kick with the sriracha in it and the molasses makes it really thick and heavy and sticky on there. I think this is great overall. You guys should try this. Go ahead and watch his original video. He did it on I believe a Weber grill and so if you have a Weber grill and you want to do it on there go ahead and try that um, I'll make sure to leave a link to his video in the description to give him full credit like I said but I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating this up I hope you guys have a great Easter Christmas or whatever it is when you find this video or maybe just a weekend dinner for your family so with all that being said I hope you guys have enjoyed our time together I'll see you in the next video